Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I like to kind of go over these uh, relatively quickly. Um, but what we're going to be doing when we're applying this transformation, we're going to be doing a translation because we have a translation vector. And the translation vector you guys can see is right here, 2 comma 3. All right? And we need to understand and remind ourselves, what does that translation vector tell us? Remember, this is telling us to transform each and every single one of our points, Amber, two units to the right. Are they both positive? Two, three? Yeah. Two units to the right and three units up, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of our coordinates, Q prime, and now what I'm going to do is just take eight, and I'm going to add two. And then I'll take four and add three. So do you guys see how I take my original points and then I add my transformation vector, right? It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, you add those coordinate points. So now I have r prime, which is going to be negative 8 plus 2. And then I have 2 plus 3. Then I have s prime, which is now negative 3 plus 2. 2 plus 3. Then I have t prime, which is now going to become negative 3 plus 2, comma, 4 plus 3. All right, do you guys see all that work that I had to go and do? Now, I will show you guys kind of a shortcut that you guys can do. But it's very important. If you have a really tough problem, you guys need to understand what this transfer max you need to understand what the transformation vector does. So let's go and simplify our points. Q prime is now going to become negative 6, 7. R prime is now going to become negative 6, 5. S prime is now negative 1, 5. And T prime is now negative 1, 7. All right? So when I'm doing this, Megan, I'm going to want to graph. A lot of times, um, they're going to ask you to graph the original image and the transformed image. All right? So uh, what I'm going to do is let's first plot our original points. So what I have here is q is negative 8. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, notice, ladies and gentlemen, do you see how I, I, I labeled my point, Sierra? It's really, really, really important when you guys are doing transformations. It's really, really important when you guys are doing transformations that you label your points. So Q is um, negative 8, 4. R is negative 8, 2. S is negative 3, 2. And T is negative 3, 4. So it's a nice little rectangle, right? Even though I know my figure doesn't look so great. But now what I can do is now that I have my original figure, and now I applied my transformation vector, which told me to shift two units to the right and three units up, I can now plot my transformed image. So my transformed image is now at negative 6, up 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's important, guys, when you're writing a new form, do not write it as Q again. It is Q prime. We applied now a transformation to it. So it's now Q prime. That's negative 8. Oh. Negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That should be like over there. OK, that's Q prime. R is negative 6, 5. So that would be r prime. s prime is negative 1, 5. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's s prime. And then I have negative 1. Oh, it's 7, not 8. And that would be t prime. OK, so do you guys see how this? I've now taken my original finger, figure and I shifted it up two units and then three units to the right. So that's how you guys can do it the long way. Do you guys want